Hi, in this video we are taking a look at 2018 Maths Ordinary Level Paper 2, question 6. It's a geometry question, let's get right into it. First part of the question asks us to construct a triangle ABC where length of AB is 10 centimeters, um, measure of angle CAB is 60, and measure of angle ABC is 40. We have to label each vertex clearly, so let's get right into it. First thing I'm going to do, I'm going to draw a straight line. And on that line, I'm going to mark a segment that's six centimeters long. So using um, using a ruler, I'm going to mark out. Uh, um, I'm going to mark out sorry ten centimeters, not six centimeters. So ten centimeters uh, from here to here. Um, and then I'm going to measure out two angles. So the first one will uh, will be angle CAB. Um, I'm going to mark vertex A and vertex B. So angle CAB has to be 60 degrees, so 60 degrees um, along this, I'm going to mark out a dot that tells me where 60 degrees go to. And then I'm going to uh, mark out a line that connects the vertex of the angle. Sorry about that, I'm just draw this line again. So making sure that it's a nice straight line, so that's good. So this angle is 60 degrees and then I'm going to have to draw the second angle which has to be 40 degrees at vertex B. So doing the same thing using the protractor, uh, making sure that the window of the protractor is above my point um, and then marking 40 degrees um, angle with a dot so that I can draw a line through it and then drawing a line from B, making sure that it's a nice straight line. Um, the intersection of the remaining two lines forms the final vertex of the triangle, which we're going to call C. Lovely. So that's our job, job done. And then um, asked uh, for the next part of the question, I have to measure the length of segment BC, correct to one decimal place. So taking a ruler, I'm going to measure it out, and the length of that segment is equal to 8.8 .8 centimeters, correct to one decimal place. Moving to the next part of this question, um, I have a diagram that shows a parallelogram with vertices given P, Q, R, and S. I know that measure of angle S, P, Q is 115 degrees, measure of angle Q, R, S is alpha, and measure of angle R, S, P is beta. So we have to write down value of alpha and value of beta. Value of alpha is easy to figure out because in, par in a parallelogram, um, opposite angles are of the same measure. So if P is 115, then angle R at alpha has to be 115 as well. Then uh, what I'm recognizing is that this is um, a quadrilateral and the sum of the internal angles in a quadrilateral is always 360 degrees. So two times 115 plus um, two times beta, because again, I'm recognizing that these opposite angles in a quadrilateral are of the same measure in a parallelogram, plus two beta is 360. So simplifying two beta is 360 minus 230. Then two beta is, is uh, 130 degrees. And finally, I can divide both sides by two to get beta equal to 70, uh, 65 degrees. So let's add these values in, add these values in, but alpha is uh, 115 and beta has to be 65, um, 65 degrees. And then I have to explain why a tri a Z triangle PQR is congruent to triangle RSP. So let's draw these triangle, triangle PQR. I'm going to um, get rid of these um, and make sure that this is uh, visible. So drawing a line from R to P which forms the triangle PQR. I have to explain a uh, reason for congruency. So uh, remembering re the rules of congruency, we have um, side, 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 or side, side, angle, or angle, side, angle. So in this case, I'm going to um, look at side, side, angle. So I know, um, or maybe actually side, side, angle, this angle over here. Uh, so I know this is a parallelogram, so I know these two segments are the same, and I know these two segments are the same. So going by side, 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 I know that length of SR is the same as length of PQ. So 
so that's first side I know that RP is the is common so that's the second side and finally I know that length of SP is the same as and length of RQ SP is the same as RQ that's the third side so by side 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 I have um, um, uh, I, I can prove that those uh, two triangles are congruent. Um, another way is to use um, a side side angle. So uh, I can tell that sides SR and PQ are the same. I can say that sides SR, uh, SP and RQ are, are the same. And I can also add to it uh, the fact that angle um, measure of angle PSR is the same as measure of angle um, PQR, which is 65 degrees in this particular case. And um, that would be explanation of congruency of those two triangles using uh, side side angle. And that's um, last part of this problem, and it's a good place to stop.